So if you're from the ages of 15 to about 35, there's no doubt that you've probably heard of a particular video game called Call of Duty. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the many perks in the game that has always intrigued me, particularly the modern warfare side of Call of Duty. Now this particular perk is called Overkill, and what this allows you to do, if you can kind of tell, is it allows you to essentially carry two primaries instead of a secondary. Now, if you are uninitiated to the game Call of Duty, you might be wondering what a primary is, but essentially a primary is either a rifle, a shotgun, or a sniper rifle, something along those lines. Something that is considered a long gun. And what the perk allows you to do is have two of them. Now this has always fascinated me because outside of breaching, there really isn't a common or practical use of people actually carrying two rifles or two shotguns, sorry, two rifles or a rifle and a shotgun or a rifle and a sniper rifle or a long range rifle uh, in real life. So I wanted to see how feasible this actually was. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at Overkill, the perk Overkill, from two points, one a functional and one a practical. So functional means, can this actually be done? Can you really carry two rifles and within reason actually switch between the two of them? And then secondly, we're gonna look at this from a practical standpoint of, would you really wanna do this in real life? So let's jump into the functional part of this. So as you can see already, I have two rifles on me. So from an outward appearance, it would look functional because as you can see, I do have two rifles pretty well strapped to me. They're not really going anywhere. I would consider them pretty tight on me. And while I can certainly ready both of them, it is no easy feat. If I wanna swap from my AR to my AK, it can be done, but it's also not very easy. So you guys can see that I can certainly swap between the two, but it is not the most practical of things to do. And it also takes a little bit of finagling around with the slings to get both of them ready to go. However, it is reasonable and with enough training and with enough time, I do genuinely believe that you could actually work out a sling method of carry for this that would actually work out pretty well and I do believe with some training and with some, you know, more thought process of, you know, how you're going to rig your guns, you could probably actually run two rifles fairly well. Where this system kind of in real life falls flat on its face comes down to practicality. How practical is it to actually run two rifles? Well, first you have to think of the weight. Now this plate carrier here, which is gonna be what most people are wearing if you're going to be entering any kind of combat or fighting situation, already weighs about 20 pounds without any ammo loaded into it. Then you add both of these rifles, which about weigh six to eight pounds, sorry, seven to eight pounds. So you're looking at about 14, at least 14 pounds worth of gun without any ammo. And then you also have to function, or then you have to factor in ammo. And it's one thing to carry, you know, 120 rounds, which is a magazine in the gun, plus three magazines for one gun. It's another thing to run, you know, another magazine for a gun, plus three extra magazines for that gun. So if you were to do this, the easiest way to do it would be to run two different rifles that have the same ammo or accept the same ammo and the same magazines. However, you run into the trade-off of why are you carrying two guns that have essentially the same realistic function. So it kind of isn't the best idea in that regard either. In addition to that, you also have the tripping hazard. If you are, say, going into a house or doing any kind of room clearing, you have a gun here that, all told, is actually pretty well behind me and shouldn't realistically get in the way, but you do have this gun behind you. So moving it all with an extra gun behind you can add a level of snag factor that can negatively impact you. And the last thing you want to do in combat is be fighting with your gear while you're trying to fight someone. So 
I don't think that this is a terribly practical type of loadout, especially, like I said, when you consider that you have this gun hanging and dangling behind you that may or may not uh, be that usable. In addition to this, regardless to how quick you get at changing your guns, it's never going to be as fast to switch from one rifle to another rifle as it is going to be to just drop the gun and grab a handgun. It's, grabbing a handgun is always going to be faster, easier, and more reliable, ultimately. Because once again, this system, while this is as clean as I could get it, you're still fighting with a sling, and you're still fighting with a sling. And so these slings have to wrap around your body and move around you and your equipment. Once again, magazines, plate carrier, all of that fun jazz. So that's why I don't think, in all reality, that this type of uh, loadout would be particularly practical. Lastly, if this was a more realistic setup, I think you would be seeing more combat use of this setup from either special operations or even just ground troops. And once again, there are plenty of U.S. soldiers and Marines who fielded a shotgun along with their M4s, but that was strictly on a breaching uh, basis. It was not meant to realistically be used in combat. Not to say that the shotgun never killed anyone, because I'm sure there were instances where their shotguns did kill someone, but by and large, when you see a system like this, where you're carrying two rifles, the objective is to field both rifles in a combat capacity, whereas when you see the shotgun for that U.S. Marine, it was pretty much to breach, and they were loaded with breaching rounds, not particularly buckshot or slugs meant to be fielded against people in combat. So that's why I say that this isn't a terribly realistic setup, and while I'm sure some types or fashions of overkill in real life have been employed, I wouldn't count on that being a very real situation. That being said, Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this look and I thought this would be a fun video to break down in real life because primarily I've just been curious, I've always been curious about actually what it would be like to run two different rifles, two different calibers and have them both on me and minus a handgun. Now I will say if I was to really use this type of situation I would probably also put a handgun on me because it doesn't take actually any more really finagling or it doesn't take a lot more to actually have a handgun on me and once again I feel like if I was to have two rifles it would probably be for medium to longer range engagements and I would still have the pistol for up close if one of my rifles went down just drop it grab the handgun and go however that's not how overkill works in Call of Duty so I did not put on a handgun for that specific reason. Anyways guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you've enjoyed some of this quirky shooting as always, God bless, and I'm out.